Radhe Radhe. Last time, last week, we concluded text 19. That uh, is the entire universe, which is great, exalted demigods like Lord Shiva, Brahma, and Indra. They are even under the control of Radha Mohan, Bhagavan Sri Hari. So, it is not so easy to understand. Whatever the Leelas Sri Krishna performed, it is only possible by devotees to understand this. Because not only this planet, the different planets, different universe is controlling. So the things that, that out of our reach, out of reach of our understanding, is even controlling. Even in this universe, in this cosmic creation, so many things are totally out of our knowledge. Even if something is there, that one also is getting controlled by Krishna. So with the surveys, We can make it move to that. After doing service, when he's too much in love, then he is ready even to defeat. Like in the in the Braja, the cowherd boys was making him horse and riding on his back. When he was getting defeat, but why he was saying it is is God? You don't need to do this. But the only thing is that is called love. Because of this, Krishna is doing. So it is very clear that when our love and affection is so high towards Him, He is ready to anything. And of course, when His devotees are there, Devotees really know how we can please our Ishtadev. Also, it is said over there that uh, we should not think that Krishna is under control of his servant. It is a bit called like Arjuna is giving order that we bring my chariot in the middle of the this war place in Kurukshetra in the time of Mahabharata. And Krishna was bringing the chariot, the Arjuna chariot in the middle of this battlefield. It doesn't mean that Krishna is obeying. He is the servant of a devotee. No. But or generally what people are saying, oh, that you, devotee is saying and Krishna is doing. So he is serving devotees, it's not like that. It happens in the Ajnana, when ignorance is there, then we think like this. He is always fully independent. Just only to increase this rasa that is called Anand Chinamaya Rasa. God pleased. Krishna pleased. Feel pleased by doing all this. Why? Because his devotee is his pure devotee. The word pure is very powerful and very big. So, 
when the when Krishna sees the pure devotion, he is sold out in the hand of devotee. The one is devotee, one is pure devotee. There is difference. Pure means until our heart is not clean. Here the meaning of purity is the process to make our heart clean by all different kind of this material contamination that runs through our mind and reach to our heart. This is very important. Anyway, we will start the text 20 here. Actually, Sanskrit verses, I like to chant this San Sanskrit verses also because although it is not necessary that who is understanding the Sanskrit verses meaning and the translation and the purports are there, even I like to chant these verses. Nemam virincho na bhavana srirupyangat santraya prasadam levire gopi yattat prap vimuktira Neither Lord Brahma, nor Shiva, nor even Goddess of Fortune, Lakshmi, who is always the better half of the Supreme Lord, means wife, can obtain from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The deliverer from this material world, such mercy as received by Mother Yashoda. So this is the stage of devotee. The devotee can leave Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, Goddess Lakshmi far back. And the devotee becomes first. The devotee becomes priority of the God. Although Brahma and Shiva are also devotee, it is not like that the Brahma or the Shiva are not devotee. They are also devotee, but in front of this kind of love, pure love of Mother Yashoda, they are not like that. They are also Brahma and Shiva also receiving mercy. Lakshmi is also receiving mercy, but not like Mother Yashoda. That's why it is said that this, this is Durlav, not available for anyone. It's a far, far away, unreachable, this type of rasa. That is, rasa is available in Vrindavan. Where Krishna he spent his sweet pastime, he performed his sweet pastime here. Not normal, sweet pastime. Now Prabhupada in saying in purport, this is a comparative study between Mother Yashoda and other devotees of the Lord. Comparative. We can compare the mood of Mother Yashoda and the mood of other normal devotees. As stated in Chaitanya Charta Mrita, Ekale Ishwara Krishna Arasabha Bhartya. Only Krishna is God. Others are Bhartya. Bhartya means Servants. So Krishna is the master and all are servants. Krishna has the transcendental quality of Bharti Vasyata. He becomes subordinate, he becomes helper of his Bharti servant.
although now although everyone is bhartya and although krishna has the quality of becoming subordinate of his bhartya we all are bhartya servant and only krishna can become our master because krishna has only these type of qualities to become master like when we want to learn something we go to the particular teacher for the any on any topic and we search the who is the relevant person that who can teach who can who has such quality that can teach me the same thing the krishna has all these type of qualities to become a master so the we bhartya means servant for us he is the perfect master the position of mother ishoda is the greatest one in the number of servant the mother ishoda is highest then lord brahma is bhartya a servant of krishna and he is adi kavi the original creator of this universe brahma tene brahma hridaya adi kavi nonetheless even he could not obtain such mercy we see the here the brahma is a creator even he is not qualified to receive mercy as mother yashoda received for lord shiva he is the topmost vaishnava greatest he is number one vaishnava is lord shiva vaishnava naam yatha sambhu what to speak of lord brahma and lord shiva not only lord brahma lord shiva even the goddess of fortune lakshmi is the lord's constant companion in service she is massaging the feet of lord lakshmi she is always associate with his body but even she could not get such mercy generally that if someone massage our feet 24 7 every day if someone massage our feet that means aha this is a very good person my god he is massaging my feet we think like this but here but we have to think that what is missing what is the quality in braja and the devotees of this braja mandal huh? this quality of this place that mother ishoda is the greatest devotee even lord brahma and shiva didn't this chance because she has this pure love this i mean they, we cannot say that brahma brahma don't have pure love or the shiva don't have pure love but mm. in the mind of krishna in the knowledge of krishna what he is knowing what he wants maybe he is not getting that type mm. they are ready to they are joining hands they standing but this anand chinmaya rasa vatsalya rasa they are fail to give they cannot give this rasa to krishna is all matter of bhava why therefore maharaj parikshit was surprised 
Sukhdev Goswami telling all these things to Maharaj Parikshit. And after listening these things, Maharaj Parikshit was surprised. Thinking, what did Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj do in their previous life? Which kind of karma, which kind of service they did in their previous life? By which they got such a great opportunity to become parents, mother and father of Krishna. The opportunity to be the affectionate father and mother. Affectionate father and mother. Affection. Really this affection Krishna is missing in Vakuntha. I have everything. But no one is loving me like this. In what in Vaikuntha, no one is hugging Vishnu. <laughs> All are coming. Jai ho, Jai ho, Prabhu, Aapki Jai ho, Jai ho, Prabhu, Aapki Jai ho. Kripa karo, Kripa karo, Bachao, Bachao, Save me, Save me. This happened, that happened, this happened, that happened. Please help me. These demons are doing like this. These demons are doing like this. I am getting troubled by this. He is going and fight. Coming back again. So even after doing this, no one is there to say, Aha Prabhu, I want to hug you. <laughs> so no. it's this intimate love. Yeah. This intimacy is missing, missing there. Just saying, all saying that you are great, 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 glorifying. He said, I am bored of all this. And since yuga and yuga, period and period, you are chanting. But where there is no rasa, it's dry. Nobody said, oh, Vishnu, I want to hug you. Mm. Mm. Oh, Vishnu, you come and sit in my lap. Mm. This means, if we want to develop relation, after going in front of Radha Mohan, when we see them as a God, finish. Relationship, finish. Then he is greater and we are. He said, you can make me relation like the same or as small. And if you think I am this big, this, then you don't know how big I am. I am bigger than anything enough. In this verse, there are three negative pronouncements. Na, na, na. Nemam birincho na bhavo na si rapyangan santraya. Nemam, na, na, three times. When anything is uttered three times, do it, do it, do it. One should understand that this is meant to indicate great stress on a fact. In this verse, we find na, Lebhire, na lebhire, na lebhire. Yet Mother Yashoda is in the supermost exalted position. And thus Krishna has become completely subordinate to her. Madhra Yashoda on exalted level. Highest one. The word Vimuktidat is also significant. There are different types of liberation. Such as Saivja, Salokya, Sarupya, Srastri, Samipya. Liberation means, Sayuja means become near. 
Salokya means going to the same dham, Vaikuntha. Sarupya means become the associate friends. Sasti, the bona fide people and Samipya being always near to him. But Bimukti means special Mukti. B means something special. Mukti means liberation. A special liberation. When after liberation one is situated on the platform of Prema Bhakti, after getting the liberation, one is said to have achieved Vimukti, a special Mukti. Therefore, the word Na is mentioned. The exalted platform of Prema is described by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Prema Pumartho Mahan. And Mother Yashoda naturally acts in such an exalted position in loving affairs. How this exalted position came? Because of this loving mood, how much Mother Yashoda loving? Churning butter for Hare Krishna and thinking, Oh my God, my Lala is growing, my son is growing. He will eat this butter. He will have more and power, power in his body. He will grow very quickly. Hmm? And he will become also very beautiful. Though my son is beautiful, but after eating this butter, the more beautiful, he can become more and more beautiful. Is the nice curly hair will grow very nicely. His shoulder will, will become broad. Then mother thinks, my God, is so too much loving this butter. So better I keep much and much butter for him. Hmm? When Krishna is going for grazing the cows in the forest of Vrindavan, and at the time when he was coming back in the evening, Mother Ishwara was standing at the door and thinking, my son will come. Or oh, let me see. Is there is still enough butter is there or not? He will eat butter. And he will, he will ask again the yogurt. Because he likes very much all these things. So Mother Yasoda is very careful what Krishna likes. This is affectionate love. This is love with full of affection. Then making the bed of Krishna, oh my son is tired now, he came back from cow grazing. His bed should be very nice, making nice bed that comfortably he can sleep. And then Krishna sleeping on the bed and she is putting her hand in his curly hair and singing something very sweetly that my, can, my son can sleep very nicely and get rid of this tiredness. Then when Krishna is going to sleep, Mother Ishwada is covering with one chadar. Then again next morning, she is not disturbing Krishna to wake up so early. She is going, looking the face of his son. Oh, my Lala is still sleeping. Means all the time she is thinking about Krishna. What should I do for Krishna? 
what should I do? Now this is there. Uh, making a nice paste to pour before showering, before massaging his body with nice paste. Mixing with all the saffron and the sandal, different, different kind of oil. She is massaging her son. She is keeping this ready before he wakes up. Huh? Nice dresses she is making for son. Tilak, what she will put, she is looking that Tilak that should be very nice. Send her paste. In putting nice clothes, all the jewelries. Then my Kana should look like very beautiful. This all she is doing. With full of love. With full of affection. Not just a motherly duty, no. Not thinking that she will hour about herself. That this she is tired or what? She is fatigued. Oh, to for two days enough. Okay, his child, he doesn't need this, that so much. No. She is searching that what is good for Krishna all the time. All the time. So that's why this platform of Mother Ishoda is exalted. She is therefore a Nitya Siddha devotee. An expansion of Krishna's Radhani potency. His potency to enjoy transcendental bliss through expansions who are special devotees. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhabhi Tamabhi Pratibhabhi Bhi Tamabhi His potency to enjoy transcendental bliss through expansion whom are a special devotee. Now see, his potency to enjoy transcendental bliss through expansion who are special devotees. And these devotees are not sadhan siddha. They are Nitya Siddha, means only the Manjiris are Nitya Siddha. Who are near, nearest, where Sakhis cannot go, Manjiris are always present there. to serve. Nitya Siddhas are special devotees. They are not Sadhana Siddha. When the Sadhana ends, Then the action of Nitya Siddha starts. The end of all practices. And the only Seva is the mood in the lotus feet. 
that all other practices are far back. So the Mother Ishoda is Nitya Siddha. That's why she got this position. Text 21. Nayam Sukhapo Bhagwan Dehinam Gopika Sutaha Jyaninam Chatma Bhutanam Yatha Bhakti Matamiya. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, the son of Mother Yashoda, is accessible to devotees engaged in spontaneous loving service. Krishna is accessible to devotees engaged by whom? By which kind of devotees? Who are engaged in spontaneous loving service. Service with full of love. Service with full of heart. Only they can assess Krishna. Where he is. Oh, here you are. But he is not easily accessible to mental speculators. Mental. With mind not possible. To those striving for self-realization by severe austerities and penances or to those who consider the body the same as the self. It is not possible for them, those who are attached with this body too much. It is not accessible for them who want to do hard sitting in dhyan. Oh, standing on one leg. Hours and hours, years and years, months and months, year and year. Not possible. Giving too much trouble their body, they think that after troubling a lot of body, we can reach. Not possible. By the strength of this body, if someone wants to reach, not possible. By using too much mind, if someone wants to reach, not possible. Now Prabhupada is saying in purport, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as the son of Mother Yashoda, is very easily available to devotees. Very easily available to devotees. But not to tapasvis, yogis, jnanis, and others who have a bodily concept of life, thinking about this body, oh my God, what will happen with this body? They have forgotten what will happen with this body. Because the chitta avastha, the level of consciousness gone that much high, even there is something in the body, but the consciousness is not dull. Even too much pain in the body or too much sickness is there. Because they are so fixed. The fixation. They bind their everything, all senses. 
विद द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी दे नो नीड टू थिंक दैट वॉट विल हैपन एंड बाय डूइंग सर्विस लाइक दिस the position of this type of devotees is like that doesn't matter what is happening in the body they are not concerned about that they never think they are not fearful what will happen with this body oh my god because they knew that they are not this body you are fearful until you think that i am this body trouble is the not the matter of soul this outside trouble is a matter of this temporary structure this body is temporary structure after certain time it will finish this body will finish doesn't matter how tall you are how beautiful eh how powerful how honest how wise how intelligent doesn't matter body will finish although they may sometimes be called sant bhaktas shant bhaktas real bhakti begins with dasya rasa dasya kinkari become the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant गोपी पद कमल दास दासानु दास दिस इज दास आई एम द सर्वेंट ऑफ 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 द सर्वेंट कृष्णा सेज इन भगवद गीता चैप्टर फोर वर्ष नंबर इलेवन ये यथा माम प्रबद्यंते तम तथा भजाम्याम मम वर्तमान वर्तंते मनुष्य पार्थ सर्वस्व एज लिविंग एंटिटी सरेंडेड अन टू मी आई रिवॉर्ड देम अकॉर्डिंगली एज पर योर डिजायर एज पर योर सर्विस यू सर्व इन दिस वे ओके your motherly mood okay i will consider mother your friendly mood i will consider friend you have kant mood you consider me my your husband okay that is like that you become das servant okay you is like this it is very clearly here said that real bhakti begins with Dasirasa, the taste only in to become servant. When you become servant, then the real, nice, beautiful, sweet taste comes in bhakti, the path of devotion. So, as living entities surrender unto me, I reward them accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects. O son of Partha, he is saying in Bhagavad Gita to Arjun. Everyone is seeking Krishna, for he is the super soul of all individual souls. Everyone loves his body and wants to protect it, because. He is within the body as the soul. And everyone loves the soul because the soul is part of parcel of super soul. 
this body maintenance is only that this soul is there inside that's it the importance of this body because this soul is part and parcel of the super soul and krishna is the super soul so this body is just we got to keep this soul and develop our relation with super soul we got this body for this soul to go back again to this super soul so it just this body is an instrument a tool to give to work according the soul consciousness therefore everyone is actually seeking to achieve happiness by reviving his relationship with the super soul without developing relation this is not possible it's very clear which relation intimate relation really is really thinking that if i am saying my saying and my actions should be the same not different i am saying something and doing something no it should not be different should be the same as the lord says in bhagavad gita vedas cha sarvair aham eva vidya by all the vedas it is i who it is i who am to be known the vedas are also what veda is saying Vedas are also searching where he is, how he is. Therefore, the karmis, jnanis, yogis, and saintly persons are all seeking Krishna. But by following in the footsteps. of devotees but by following in the foot steps of devotees who are in a direct relationship with krishna <coughs> but by following in the foot steps of devotees who are in a direct relationship with krishna who is this a spiritual master the bona fide spiritual masters are in direct relation with krishna especially the inhabitants of vrindavan one can reach the supreme position of associating with krishna brajavasis brajavasis are direct relationship by born by birth when brajavasi take birth by that time they are with krishna associates and brajavasi says that huh? our krishna amaro kanaiya they never say god 
ब्रजवासी नेवर से गॉड नो गॉड वॉट इज गॉड अरे ही इज आवर कन्हैया इज आवर गोपाल इज आवर गोविंद इज आवर कृष्ण द नेवर से भगवान गॉड नो इज आवर मेंबर फैमिली मेंबर गॉड वुड नथिंग एज इट इज सेड वृंदावनम परित्यज पदम एकम ना गच्छति कृष्णा डज नॉट लिव वृंदावन इवेन फॉर ए मोमेंट नो पीपल से कृष्णा लेफ्ट राधा रानी नो कृष्णा लेफ्ट गोपीज नो एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ही लेफ्ट बट एक्चुअली ही डिडेंट गोन आउट ऑफ वृंदावन Krishna does not leave Vrindavan even for a moment. The Vrindavan Vasis, Mother Yashoda, Krishna's friend, and Krishna's conjugal lovers, the younger gopis with whom he dances, have very intimate relationship with Krishna. And if one follows in the footsteps of these devotees. Krishna is available. That's why we took the shelter of Brajvasi also. Because the Brajvasis are in direct relation, and they easily can bring us to the Krishna, because they have direct relation. If uh, my father is a famous father, famous for something, and someone wants to meet, and this person is knowing me. so by knowing me he can easily meet to my father or not kevala bhakti understand it? my father is famous and someone of my friend want to meet my father so through me he can meet my father easily yes so easily meeting do the same thing here brajvasis are like i like the personal and with associating is taking shelter associating means not go near to him and see there what they are doing then this will be a problem because brajvasis sometime do many things that on the material concerns you will may not like and then you will start thinking very differently about brajvasis it will be offens to so don't see that what brajvasis are doing yeah because they are in direct relation they are very intimate and if you we will start to select or search or define that oh my god he is abusing what god is doing how he is talking then will be offense then bhakti will down although the nitya siddha expansion of krishna always remain with krishna if those engaged in sadhan siddhi follow in the footsteps footsteps of krishna's nitya siddha associates such sadhan siddhas also can easily attain 
Krishna without difficulty. It means the Prajvasis are Nitya Siddha. And we are Sadhan Siddha. Taking shelter means giving them respect. Careful by thinking this that they are the Krishna's Radharani's personal associates. Keeping ourselves away from any kind of offense making towards them. Like this. This type of association here, Prabhupada is talking. So we are Nitya Siddha, uh, Sadhan Siddha. If we join ourselves with some Brajvasi Sadhu or do, those who are doing in long time Sadhana, their bhajan in Braja with the Sadhus of this holy place, huh? eating the Prashad, having Darshan, by doing all these things. So place is also Nitya Siddha, the people are also Nitya Siddha. And we are doing our practice. So by associating with these things, we can get also attainment Krishna without difficulty. But there are those who are attached to bodily concept of life. Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. For example, have very prestigious position and thus they have the sense of being very exalted Ishwaras. In other words, because Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva are Gunavataras and have exalted positions, they have some small sense of being like Krishna. But the pure devotees who inhabit Vrindavana do not possess any bodily conception. They are fully dedicated to the service of the Lord in sublime affection, Prema. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has therefore recommended Prema Pum Pumartho Mahan. The highest perfection of life is Prema. Pure love in relationship with Krishna. Pure love in relationship with Krishna. Pure love in relationship with Krishna. If we start some other love, problem. Do other love also is okay in material world. But don't forget the highest perfection. The highest, what is the highest, highest perfection? Pure love in relation with Krishna. With Radha. Yeah. Same. And Mother Yashoda appears to be the topmost of devotees who have attained this perfection. So Mother Yashoda is also Brajavasi, that's why it is said Mother Yashoda is Nitya Siddha and we are doing our Sadhana Sadhana Siddha. If we follow, we cannot become Mother Yashoda. This is true. But we can learn from Mother Yashoda. We can learn from different devotees. How looking their bhav, looking their consciousness, that how they are thinking, which position they are, how much they have mood in the path of devotion. Of course, Radharani doesn't see any qualification like Krishna see. But even some disciplinary
things are there that we have to follow. If we promise to Radharani that whatever nonsense did, now we will not repeat. Then okay, Radharani is ready. But all the time we making nonsense in this material world and going to Radharani or oh, Radharani, I am yours. <laughs> then again, from there saying yes, and then again going back and doing some nonsense, again going Radharani. No, no, no. This will not work. Sorry to say, forgive me. If we love Radharani, we have to become conscious a lot. More conscious than the, in the Bhakti of Sri Krishna. Radharani can also forgive you one time, two times, three times, four times, for the lifetime. It is not like that you are saying that you are in love with Radharani and Krishna is not watching, watching you. And he has not any right. Yeah, if you reach at that level, then no problem. But sadhan, you have to do, still you have to do. You have to go through the process to make yourself pure. It is many times has been used the word pure devotee. Why? Why the, the word pure is needed here? That we are somewhere not pure. We need to try to be pure devotee. And where will we become once we will become the pure devotee? Then contamination will not touch us anymore. Any kind of contamination. But we have to do. If we love Radharani, we want to give trouble Radharani all the time. That she should come always to do this, to do this for me. This will be real love. Is it like this? So with full of consciousness, we have to think what we are doing and really how much we are loving. Surrendered means Radharani means surrendered completely. With everything, surrender of our senses, surrender to do anything nonsense with anyone. No, Radharani is watching. She will not like. I will not do. But however, she doesn't like this. And discipline. You see, all Sakis are very disciplined. It's not like that. All Sakis are in a disciplinary way. All Sakis and Manjaris. What Sakis are teaching to Manjaris? But Sakis are disciplined, that's why the Manjaris are more disciplined. This I heard where? This is not written here. I am saying once I was in a Radha Vallabh temple. They are also following this. When the people were doing the pushing each other in the crowd unnecessarily trying to go first, trying to go in the number one queue. The one Mahatma one Sadhu was there. This is not the discipline. If you are thinking that you are in indiscipline and trying to get the love rather than not possible. First you have to learn how to be in discipline. Discipline is very important. Okay. Oh, 
I think only two words we completed. Next words, next time takes 22. But the meaning of reading, that after reading, if I am also reading, I am also listening. I am not the perfect person. I am just reading. I also try on the, I am in the process. And uh, I am also in the learning. So whatever I listen, being different places in Braja, because this is the Braja is full of nice devotees also. I go places, when I listen something, then I apply it in my, try to apply in my life. I will not say that I am the 100% because I am reading this Bhagavatam, oh, so I am so exalted. It is not like that. I am also in the process, in the practice along with all other devotees. You still trying to a lot. I didn't learn yet anything. Just listening, okay, and keeping in mind. But I'm not practicing that much. But I try all the time to practice as much I can. If my karma, my destiny is not that level, I will do that much Radharani want. And I need to be conscious. We are in this Krishna Yuga consciousness. We can say Krishna consciousness or we can say Radha consciousness. The consciousness means is to be alert. Mm. Mm. If you are not alert, not attention, <laughs> then for what we are here, it is it will be little. Long process to achieve. So thank you very much. Thank you, Arinam ji. Thank you, Kebala Bhakti ji. Radhe Radhe for today. Next week again, next Sunday. Thank you very much. So, again I want to say that uh, we started, before it was starting at 11. Now we started at 10.30. 11.30. Today I was a little late. We were 4-5 minutes. So next time I will try to be at time. Because already you were all there. So, Jai Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Jai Shri, Shri Radhe. Radhe. Shri Radhe. Vitae Gaur Pramanande. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> thank you for the lecture. Yeah. Radhe Radhe, thank you so much. Radhe Radhe. Can I ask you, so what what is the discipline like uh, of a manjari you were talking about? Manjaris means many discipline, like we are not at that level in the we cannot go directly manjaris, no? Mm -hmm. Even we got our sorrow, we are practicing. Mm -hmm. So we have to check ourselves, it means. Mm. Discipline in even in our thinking. Mm -hmm. In the way what we are thinking. In the way what we are talking. In all behavior actually. By looking this. Because for people come from different places, uh, as Indian, even it is difficult for me, then I cannot say this is Radharani knows. So, disciplinary, we went in the temple in front of Radharani. And we started talking something. This will be indiscipline. Mm. The kamuki or pushing or running or jumping mm. or unnecessary joking mm. in the temple mm. is not a part of this mm. indiscipline that comes. Mm -hmm. So many, many small things more, maybe gonna fight go there or some other thing. But in the learning process. If we are a student, discipline is there. 
the same kind of discipline will be there. Not rules and regulations are different thing. Disciplines are different thing. Hmm. In front of uh, one senior devotee, it's not saying that my like Guru Dev or Kamala there. We have to be very humble. So to go in temple, need to be very humble. Hmm. Humility should be there and. Uh, Once all of our mood and mind should go, if we are not knowing, we ask or not directly jumping to bring ourselves before. If we have some doubt, we ask what the other devotees are doing, those of our senior. Mm. We take the help of the senior devotees. And it's like don't uh, thinking about other devotees also means these are blockage comes that it stops in the develop of bhakti many things are there mm -hmm. so one of the things when you will read the books thus if you want to read the different books then many many things are written there mm. what what to do do and don'ts mm. Mm. do's and don'ts are there so along with us many things are there I, exactly, I cannot say what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I go, something comes and door. Am I the, I talk, bring my this. I don't know. It is good or bad. Mm -hmm. So I, I will not do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I don't know, I will not do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What it? Mm -hmm. And if if I have, I am interested to know, I will ask. Mm -hmm. Should I do this or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Discipline means like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and I, I don't know, and I am doing. It's like uh, more respect. Yeah, yeah. respectful, yeah. respectful manners. Manners. Yeah, this is discipline. Uh -huh. This is the sum total of all these things are discipline. Mm -hmm. Anushasan in Hindi. Anushasan it means you have to make teach yourself first uh -huh. what to do, what to do not. Mm -hmm. This is. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. Jai Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe.